Good evening to you, Katie Patterson Ingalls, coming to you from the kitchen. I'm almost done prepping here, and I usually go live on Sunday evenings to share with you what I'm doing to stay on track for this week, how I can make sure that my family is as well, and that we're getting good uh, meals in our bellies, and I am able to save time and not spend an hour and a half to two hours in the kitchen every evening. So Sunday um, Sundays are very important to me and I always make sure that I make it a priority because I know how much better my week will be and how much easier my life is because I spent an hour to sometimes two on Sunday getting everything organized. So very simple this week and um, hopefully it'll give you a couple ideas of something that you can do. So um, I have a beef roast, a beef roast plan and I'll be putting that in the crock pot first thing in the morning. I'll be dumping carrots in there. I'm gonna chunk up some sweet potato for me and um, red potatoes for those who don't want sweet potato and then throwing onions in there as well. And the best part about that is it just cooks all day long and you come home and well, that's done and your house smells amazing and there's always um, enough for a couple of meals there with that. So super simple and easy and that's what I like. What I'll be doing, I'm gonna make sure we have greens with it. I'll be steaming some green beans as well to go with that and we'll have lots of good veggies and along with the carrots, got the green beans in. So that's something very simple always that can be done. I have been um, already had my hamburger done here. So I put hamburgers and peppers uh, in this and it's been cooking and simmered down or, or this has been cooking while this has been simmering. This is my, um, it's called Grandma's Tomato Sauce and it's actually from my, one of my favorite cookbooks that Autumn Calabrese does called The Fixate. If you have heard me talk about this and it's with my, I've done 21 Day Fix Extreme and it changed my life starting a couple years ago. And so she has great tips and healthier recipes. And so this um, is her grandma's recipe, she says, for tomato sauce. And sometimes I just wanna make sure that we're getting um, things that don't have as much sodium in them and in more holes. So that's already been simmering here for almost an hour now and I just shut it off. And so what I'm gonna do is make that, or have that be the sauce for my lasagna. So I haven't assembled everything yet, um, but I'm about ready to, but I wanted to go live because I know it's getting a little bit later, but we're gonna have lasagna um, as part of our meals this week as well. And what I'm gonna do to make it a little bit healthier for me, um, I already, I did a couple substitutes, um, just simple things such as, um, I don't use regular salt, I use pink Himalayan salt, it's a better form for you. I used um, cottage cheese instead um, as well. I also um, am going to be adding more veggies on my side, so I'm going to be slicing up um, these little zucchinis here and have them in a corner um, or probably half of it for me and so whoever wants some of that great and then whoever doesn't they can have just a regular lasagna so a lot of people say kitty does everyone eat the same thing that you do most of the time they do but um, I know that not everybody's going to want more greens or want um, zucchini in theirs and so I will have some that an area that does only for me and the rest can enjoy what they want so that's a little trick and then um, as many of you know, we are good, big fans of spinach, and so we'll have spinach salad with that. And um, right there, guys, that is what we're having this week. And so um, there's plenty. I don't like to throw food away, and it's good, clean, whole food for us. And that's I like to keep it simple. So I hope that gives you a couple ideas. And what I'm going to do is actually share the recipe for the grandma's sauce for you. And you can look at that below in the comments and um, you can make a big batch up for yourself. I'm actually going to be freezing the other half of what I don't use so it'll be ready for the next time. So that's super helpful. And you know, I do get asked what do I um, eat for lunch and so I keep it, you know what, if you like. Different. Th if you are happy with what you do, just stick with it. And I don't have to have tons of variety, but I am a huge fan of these little creations. These, this is um, garlic and herb, herb and garlic, and I love it on celery sticks. I also, this is a, I found a salmon lemon dill one. Um, 
There's also a lemon pepper one that I enjoy as well. So I'll usually have um, one of those, a half an avocado, and maybe an apple, or I will put it on top of a um, bed of spinach, and I'm done. And it's delicious, and I kept it really simple, and I don't, I'm not going to go buy lunch every day, hardly ever. I can't even think the last time that I ate lunch out at, um, during work. And first of all, it's just more expensive and I'm more in control of what I'm putting into my body and that makes it better all around. So anyways, hope those are some tips for you. I hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you later. One thing I do want to throw out is that I have a take control group. The holidays are coming up faster than I can even comprehend. And I don't know about y'all, but I got to get cracking on my Christmas shopping. I used to be really good not so much this year already, way behind than what I normally am. But um, what I do know is that usually most Americans gain 8 to 12 pounds over the holiday season. That's not going to be me. That doesn't need to be you either. And so I'm taking control now, and I want to invite you to be a part of um, a take control group that I have starting right after um, Halloween. I can't believe Halloween is next week already. And so if you're interested, uh, comment control down below and I will uh, let you know a little bit more about that group. So everyone have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.